Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about the connecting to the MySQL using Prisma in the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So we are going to create a new project with this one. So let's open the terminal of the any of the Node.js package. So let me open this. So any Node.js project we have. So let's open the terminal and let's go for it. Okay, so let's make the project my Prisma project. Okay, and here we go with the CD, this one, my project. Right, so what would be the next step? Next step would be npm init y. So npm init y and make sure the node version. So I will check my node version is I think 16 is there, right? So I will use node nvm use 20 so i'm going to use the node 20 version okay what would the next step install the global cli which i have already installed let's install the prisma client so here we go with this one so let's install this one this is done move to the next step initialize the prisma in it so let's add this command and it will create a file with prisma Okay, so here we go with this one. If I just open this code, okay, so here we go with this one. So Prisma is there and env file is there. So here we are going to connect with the MySQL, right? So let's go and check out the connection string. So everything is sorted, just we need to put the connection string like this, okay? So here we go with this one. So let me go and check this one. I think percentage two three is there let give me a second so here we go with this one let's add this one here the so here we go with the mysql uh, root is my username and the password is admin one two three for the hash i think percent two three is there for the encoding part and uh, here i'm going to add my db so here i'm going to create a new database here so let's go and add the new database localhost slash php at minor so let me add the new database root and here i'm going to add my password okay done let's create a database over here so let's create the my db done okay let's go to the next step this is done okay and this is sorted done schema prisma so here we need to create the mysql Okay, so the MySQL here database, it will come off. Now we have to create the schema. Okay, before that, it's not going to be work. So I'm going to add my schema, model schema over here with the ID. Okay, so here I need the user table with the ID, email and the name. Okay, this is optional. Email is required and this is default auto increment. Okay, let's try to save this. Moving to the next step. Okay, so this is done. Now we have to create an index.js file. So let me create that one. So here we go with the index.js file. So let me create that one. And let's paste the code of this one for the connection to check that the everything is working or not. Okay, so let's copy this and add it over here for creating a new user into the DB. If it is saved, that means the connection with the SQL is working fine. Okay, this is for the code for creating the user with the John Doe and if created, then we will cache and then finally disconnect that one. Okay, so this is done. This is Prisma client initialization. Uh, those who haven't watched my previous lectures, please watch that one that come to know about what we have done. Okay, so this is done, right? And Prisma connection part is done. Let's try to run the com command. Okay, so there is a command for create the schema that is generate let me check this okay here we go with this one npx prisma generate so start using the prisma client generated prisma client the node modules prisma client so this is important then you have to generate this one now now the environment variables loaded from the env prisma schema loaded for the prisma schema right so npx prisma generate after this there is another command for the mic for the db schema to create okay so let's add this one so i think migrate dev npx prisma migrate dev 
okay so after doing this one they were asking for the migration name so i'm going to take it a user and now you can see that the migration database is now sync if i go to the database and reload this one user is there and the prisma migration is there right you can see that one so this is the migration that i have created right and the user table with the id and the email is added okay let's run the script that is node index.js okay index.js let's run it new user is created you can see that and if i reload over here it is created that means the connection for the mysql part is done okay so we have successfully connected to the mysql and the data record is inserted into the database in the node.js any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day